I'm uh, set up the tiger striping. Now, how I do it is, I measure every 300 thousandths. Okay, so I can put length times width and draw the average cross-sectional area out of the port. One thing that I wanted to show you here that's kind of unique, every once in a while I'll get ahead like this, is notice that right here where the ink is, you can probably see it, it was a little hard for me to clean it up because it's a devit. The outside dimension here and here has about a 40 thousandths rise as soon as it starts to go in and comes up. Okay, um, in the casting process. So you got kind of a miniature funnel that's um, damn it. a miniature funnel that's going on right here at the lip. You can see the rise in the material. Then it comes out. It'll be interesting to see just off the top of my head, I'd say probably 50 thousandths keeping this edge, which is very critical because they're not giving you much room to play with. When I take the gasket, okay, and um, lay it on here, which I'll bolt it down. I might even dial pin it to get it exact or something close you can see that they're not giving hardly any room right here at all. Now I'm going to be able to trim some of this gasket out and get it lined, but um, I should be able to do quite a bit with this port actually to, to tune it. Now, you see how that gasket's on there. Now what I'm going to do is I'll be taking the snap gauge. The ink has to dry first. Um, because I don't, it'll go in there and start messing up. So all I'm going to do is just show you a light hit. Uh, this is what I'll be doing right here. I'll be going in there, taking the snaps and getting a measurement all the way in and turning around and hit each one of them lines that way and so on. This high I even went up some uh, on the guide, you know, to try to, I'm going to try to put the cross section of the guide in there. I, I usually hit it within 10% of the guide area of getting a total cross sectional area. But that's how I do it and go in there. Once I pull the math numbers out of it, then I'll break out the sonic checker and hit each one of them spots with a sonic checker. And that's going to tell me the thickness at each individual plot then we can get down to some serious calculations and figure out what we're going to do. Alrighty, that's all for now.